What's up, YouTube? Back with another one. Let's see where we're at. So, uh, it's the ninth, as you can see, June 9th. So, our target is to uh, make $4.37 to hit 4368 but we're already beyond that. So, we're just going to make some trades. Hopefully win. If we lose, we don't want to drop b below this. So, um, let's get to it, and we'll come back to the screen here in a minute. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> So we're at 47.32 now where we left off. And um, it took everything in me the other day not to get back in the charts and, you know, make a few trades. But um, here we are, you know, I didn't feel like recording, so on and so forth. But I told myself I would record every step of the way, win or lose. So let's do that. Okay, I just realized this changed to 83%. So let's um, start up here. We'll work our way down, see what we can see. So, you know, this looks, it's it, the wicks on these candles and everything, it just looks like it's crazy here. It's real inconsistent, it's choppy. I like it nice and smooth, and it hasn't been. So I'm just going to go to another chart. Just scanning the chart real quick see what I can see this chart doesn't look great but look like it the, the movement is not too volatile okay I could be wrong let's check it out right now I'm basically just watching it making trades mentally see if I would hit it or not and if I'm losing um, in my mock trade, you know, in my mind, I, I'm not messing with it. And basically, I'm not messing with it. Like, this right here just messed me up right here. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, let me just get to another chart. This is all over the place. I just like that it's not, I kind of like it, you know. I waited too long. So we got that. I just saw this strong push, you know, and said, hey, let's let's get in there. It just seemed like it was gonna keep going. It's not coming back down, it's gonna retract. Yeah. Maybe towards the end of the candle it'll come back down. But this is how to get you. It comes up. I think it's going to push again, but it, it does this to you. So you just wait, and then towards the end of the counter, it might push again. And just like that, we made our 10%. We up. Okay. Now, I would stay in this chart, but, um, just got off work. I got off work kind of late. I had a one-on-one -on -one with my manager. Um, so, stayed longer than I wanted to. So, on the days that I'm working, um, I'll probably just get in here in the morning, make two trades. If I win both, good. If I lose both of them, I mean, not good, but basically I want to be up two trades. want to be up that 10%. So, um, if I can do that on the days that I'm working, I'll be cool. And then on my off days, I'll stay in the charts a little longer. And it'll be a longer video, go to different charts, who knows what. But I'll also risk losing what I'm doing the more trades I do. So we'll just see how it goes. But I would like to jump ahead here in the chart. So we're 52.69. We're ahead, period. So we're on the ninth. We're supposed to be at 43.68, but we're already here. You know, 269, yeah, and this is 85. See, I'm, I'm, I'm caught up on the 85 cents. You know, I'm at 52.69, but I, I, I see this target, 52.85, and I'm worried about, 
you know, almost 20 cents, a couple of cents, and that's crazy. Like, I should not make another trade to try to get above this. And that's just the mentality to have. It's kind of like an OCD type thing, right? Trying to round up at the gas pump. You hit $19.86. You're trying to get it to even 20. Then you go over 20, you know, $20 and eight, three cents. And now you keep pumping, trying to get some number. It's, it's kind of throw it off. We have to get over that. That's a mental, um, not a disability, not at all. It's just, um, it, a lot of people are like this almost everybody right we, we like things even but um you have to get out that mindset you have to reprogram yourself and realize it does not matter that much it don't matter if i'm at 52.69 or 52.85 we'll keep it moving because we're supposed to be at 43.68 and uh we're ahead of schedule by two days almost so i'll take that And um, I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. But it, it, it was that simple. It was that simple. All right. I appreciate y'all for watching. As, as usual, let's, let's just see the last couple of trades. Yeah. So we, we've been doing good, man. I'm, I'm feeling confident. I, I keep telling myself, damn, man. It's one thing to lose. It's another thing to lose on YouTube in a series. Just keep losing. If I blow this account, like, who's going to watch the YouTube? Who's going to believe that I'm actually good at this? You know what I mean? So, if I make it, if I make it up to, like, 6,000, even if I make it to, uh, let's see. If I make it all these days, going back and forth or whatever the case, but by the end of, um... The month I make it at 323, um, 323, 323, my bad. I'm, um, got a, um, chewing on the tums for my stomach. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, if I make it there, I think that there'll be some respect only because it was the grind. But if I make it to like a thousand or six thousand, people respect that and be like, oh yeah, nice, good stuff. But if I make it to like here or here and I start losing, and, you know, and I'm back over here somewhere. People are going to be like, oh, this dude doesn't know what he's doing. But that's just how it goes sometimes, you know. I could come back to here and then just go on another row and be right back over here. So we'll see how it goes. But hopefully I'll continue on this trend, stay disciplined, and just um, keep making this profit, you know. Just keep making this profit each day. And don't have these crazy uh, losing sessions. You know what I mean? That's the main thing. I have to stay away from um, losing sessions. See, I every time I see a chart, I'm looking at it and I want to trade it. So I need to just get out and stay ahead. Listen to yourself. And y'all see me struggling with these decisions, but I'm thinking, okay, if I lose this trade and I got to stay in and, and try to get it back, I could easily, this could have been a session where I make my goal and then I go back in and I'll lose and then I end up backtracking. So I'm just going to quit here <coughs> and hit y'all back up tomorrow. So I work tonight and tomorrow night. So I hit y'all up tomorrow morning and the day after. And then after that, I'm off. I'll stay in the charts a little longer. And we'll see if we can um, get ahead a little more and expedite the process, right? I mean, <clears throat> it would be cool to be at um, 6,000 at the end of um, July, but it would be even better if I got there before that. Now I don't know why I fixate on 6,000, only because it's like the biggest number at the end of the month, because the end of um, June is just 3.23, but uh, 23, but um, end of July is already 6,000, which is great, and then it just goes crazy after that, because the uh, trades, the 10%, the 10% profit is just, you know, that much higher. So, we'll see how it goes. Basically, if I make it to here, if I make it to 180, 200, I'll be happy with it, to be honest. I mean, not as an end goal for me, but just as a, as a journey. 
just showing that you can just slowly build profit each day to go up and like I say you don't have to stop there but you don't want to over trade so if I can make it here if I can be at 200 by the 25th or before I'll consider this a success and um, we'll go from there a lot of people would like to have an extra 200 a month because people that I know now that um they make a hundred a month so that's that's two times their salary you know what I mean so if they could just follow this it'd be all good for them right well again I appreciate y'all for watching I hope I can continue the streak this is making me look good like I actually know what I'm doing but I but I do right but um we'll see how it goes going forward I have to have a losing day eventually right I'm gonna have a losing session eventually you know tomorrow I already passed this up <coughs> excuse me I already passed this up but I could go backwards as well I'm just trying to stay in the green for each day again oh, this chart's looking good y'all what to do it's like they're reeling me in damn I would have done really good here when they cross I would have seen that see it keep going up I, I would have got this candle good Probably would have got this candle too. And you would think that it's going to shoot back up, but I don't think it is. And now this next candle, I don't know. Hmm, I thought this next candle would go up. Nah, it's going to come down, huh? Well, it's going up. Yeah, see, your boy know what he talking about. I'm just, I'm just kind of, you know, in the zone, in the matrix. You know, I'm not Neo, but more like Morpheus. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, call it. You know, going down, and then I, this one wasn't gonna finish up here, and then I, I figured this one's gonna go back up. But from here on out, who knows what the hell's going to do. Who cares? I appreciate y'all for watching. Your boy hit 1K on YouTube. Soon I'll make a video about a raffle. Uh, just give me some time, and I will holler at y'all. Deuce.